Good morning as we gather in this worship place today, celebrating God's presence among us. And we will be celebrating communion as well. It's the first Sunday of the month. But uh, we begin before we enter into our worship that Ron will lead us into with a prelude. Uh, that we just speak the words of the acknowledgement of where we gather. So let us join together in these words. Honoring the process of truth and reconciliation and seeking to be a church that does recognize the pressing need for the ministry of reconciliation. We name that Colossal United Church acknowledges that we are located on the traditional territory of the Tuasim and Musqueam First Nations, and of all our Hukamina speaking people who have been stewards of this land since time immemorial. Let us join in our time of worship.
uh, uh, to many of us, maybe, maybe there are some that know it. And so it's one of those that we're introducing, and you'll hear over and over over the, the months to come as well. So let us join in this uh, hymn to worship, to gather and to worship. Church in Ladner, and the um, concert's at 2 o'clock and 7 o'clock, 
and you can go online and get your tickets. Thank you. Or at the door. Or at the door. <laughs> or at the door, yeah. <laughs> and why do we name this as a, a community event? Because some of our members are involved in this community event. We engage in the community in so many different ways, and so a number of our choir members are members of that choral society as well. Um, a joy, a celebration. Last week, Lori was away. And if you tried to call and talk to somebody at the office, if I wasn't there, Lori wasn't either. But she was away on a bit of a trip, and they went to the Western Canada Division competition uh, in Saskatoon for the, the choral work that she's in. She's part of the Sweet Adelines. And her group here from this uh, Lower Mainland area uh, came in third in the competition. And this was all across Canada. And so that was a pretty wonderful celebration for her. She wanted you to know that. And just to be thankful that, uh, that we have people in our community involved in all these different ways. The Outreach uh, Committee, the Outreach and uh, Refugee uh, Committee are wanting you to know that so far um, the deposit was $141 this week uh, for supporting uh, the refugees by donating and bringing your recyclables. That's a good step. It's a wonderful step and the more we see that happen, the more we'll be able to have to offer and bless the family when they come. Thank you for doing that work for us, uh, outreach and refugee uh, work in our community. For those that uh, didn't receive it yet, there is a page of the Ponder and Practice for the Bible Study on Wednesday morning. It was sent at a late morning hour at 1.30 this morning. So I made sure I printed it so you can pick it up on the table and take it home with you. That community, uh, that um, Wednesday morning uh, prayer time is still happening at 9 o'clock from 9 to 9.30. It's online. Uh, the, the, the link, the Zoom link is sent out on our Friday uh, emails. And we'd love to have you join us. And following that, we have our, our Bible study from 9.45 to about 11, 15, 11.30 in that time. And it's been wonderful. We've really enjoyed each other's time and conversations together. We had a wonderful a Jazz Vespers uh, just the last Sunday. A wonderful attendance as well. And uh, we are planning ahead, it's already set up uh, for May the 28th, the Doe Bender Jazz Trio will be with us. And so spread the word, let it be known. There are also a number of other events that go on. There's a benefit concert for Ukraine, and it's uh, put on by the Lighthouse Church in Latin. And it's going to be happening uh, Saturday, May 20th. Um, doors open at 6.30, concert at 7.30. And the, uh, the proceeds uh, will go to, to, the, to Ukraine to support people there. Uh, the person that is singing is Anna Sigalova. So we just wanted you to know that these are other opportunities for us in our community to be engaged. Let us turn now in a prayer of adoration and confession, recognizing our place in our relationship with God. Steadfast God, you are our refuge in times of trouble, our shelter when we are afraid, and our dwelling place forever. In you alone we place our trust, for you set the way before in Christ Jesus, and your Spirit gives us courage to follow him. 
And so we offer you our worship and love as the source of life for the world. As the Son who preached the truth of grace and mercy, and the Spirit who guides us this day and always. We speak our prayer of confession together. Steadfast God, we confess that Jesus as the way, the truth, and the life for us, that we often fail to follow him, too often not in our own way, distorted the truth, and led to us. Forgive us for falling short of our purpose for our lives. Give us courage to follow Jesus, who continues to show us. Hear these words of the assurance of God's pardon as we come in prayer and forgiveness. Do not let your